Okay, hi guys, welcome back to Bikes and Laces. Today, got a slight different video for you. During quarantine, like a lot of other cyclists, I've been using Zwift almost daily as my cycling exercise and training. And I've been getting into the racing and I've been getting into racing and been doing regular group workouts um, on the system. All of which you can find through the Zwift companion app. And as many of you may or may not already know, when you're racing on the platform, you know, you'll get a power up through a specific archway after a sprint or a KOM or completing a lap, something like that. You'll get a power up and you can either click on your computer screen or simply if you've got your app open on your phone close to hand, you can just press that and use your power up. I recently bought uh, just a little phone mount that goes on your handlebars. It's just a sort of rubber and elastic thing strapped around the handlebars. Uh, and keeps your phone in tight but that broke recently and i thought what would be a nice cool pro way of fitting my phone on my handlebars without those big clunky bags with the see-through um the see-through plastic screen on the front because they just look i just think they look a bit naff so i've gone for uh, a way of mounting my phone on that goes on like either a wahoo or a garmin some sort of cycling computer because I know a lot of you, like myself, will just grab their bike that they usually ride outside, stick it on the turbo, and away they go. So, as you don't need a cycling computer on your bike whilst you're doing that, I know some people use uh, Wahoo stuff that, you know, where they can have their coaches training or read power from uh, pedals or cranks. A lot of us will just have one of these sat out front, looking a bit pointless, really, and probably because it is. So, doing a bit of shopping around for a phone mount came across a brand that did sort of secure phone mounts for when you're using it as a cycling computer out on the road. Um, it looks really neat, really professional, obviously because it is. And uh, the price just put me straight off. Um, the price was starting from £45 and I thought I can do the same job much cheaper than that just by shopping around and getting some bits. And today the last bit that I needed for it came which was, uh, this is this is a, a Garmin mount. This is not one of Garmin's own. This is one I bought, I think from Amazon or from eBay for about six, seven pounds. Uh, it's just been sat on my cyclocross bike, not being used. So I had a look around to see what bits I could get. Um, I got myself a phone case and you can't see it in this bag, but it's a, it's a male Garmin piece uh, with a 3M adhesive sticker on the back. Um, as I said, I bought this one a while ago. I think it was about seven pounds. Pair of these. So this was four pound ninety-five from Amazon uh, through Tech Gear Solutions, and this sticker mount. And this one I just found on eBay for. £4.39. So that is less than a tenner. That was two, but already had it, so it's not an additional purchase. So I can make four, nearly five of these for the same price as the one professional mount. Um, so obviously you have to buy the phone case uh, that corresponds to the phone you're using for the Zwift Companion we're using on the bike. Uh, this is just sort of a flexi. Uh, I think it's silicon. Well, it didn't. It didn't need to be all that. It was just somewhere that my phone would sit into. And we're going to stick this on the back here, um, so it can mount to this when it's on the bike. So I just thought I'd take you through um, how it works. So first things first, we'll have to mount this onto the bike that's currently on the turbo. Um, measure the distances from the, I think the stem is gonna be the thing that sticks out the most up to here. Um, so how deep on the case we can put this sticker. So obviously at its most, so obviously at the point it sticks out the most will be at that 45 degree angle with the phone on there. That's where you need to stick 
the phone case. So unfortunately, he's got sort of this lip here with this fake carbon fiber look to it. So, so the lowest we can put this uh, Garmin mount onto the case is just above there. So probably about there. If I can, and the further these extend obviously the further you can put it in ideally you'd want to have it in the middle there that's where it's most sturdiest but as you can see that's not going to be possible because this needs to be at least out there I think it is going to have to be at the bottom here which is about half an inch above the bottom of the case but we're going to measure it and see just exactly how far away we can put it uh, how central we can put it along this first galaxis here so i've got well i've got a tape measure i've got a ruler as well um then we'll be using this gridded mat to see once we line it up make sure it's all lined up centrally as you can see we fitted the mount on the handlebars here um here's our garmin mount and then that's it at 45 degrees just to find the back of this case fortunately it's quite flexible so we actually might i think that's going to be that is right at the end of that lip there so that goes on there and as i say as it quite silicony if we don't put the phone in first and we just put the case on that and that's gonna any bump in the stem is just going to flex on the end hopefully without pulling the sticker off the Garmin mount from the phone case so yeah I think that is going to fit on the bottom there you see that it clicks in quite nicely it's a lot of force more than force from a Garmin to get that one out I'm quite impressed with these little things. Um, so let's go back to the table and line it up on the phone case. And then we can try it out. Okay, so we're back here on the table. And we're just going to fix this in the middle of the case. At the correct angle. You'll want the little lips here. They stick out to the side. So when you line it up with the mount from one side and you go from horizontal to vertical and that will lock it into place so what I'm going to do is line these lines up with the middle you can see through the camera and the touch screen hole lines up through the middle and I can see through the charging port hole at the bottom that that's straight so we're going to be following this line here and line up with these little indentations a crease right down the middle there so i think that's about in the right place i'm just going to measure from one end to the outside so two centimeters from the line to the sticker. And that's about right there. Okay, so we're just gonna mark this very lightly on the corner there. And then on this corner here too doesn't take it very well I don't know if you can see on the camera I've just got two little corners there and obviously that's going to line up with the bottom here we're going to take the backing off careful not to remove the sticky pad as well off it comes And we're going to line that up and 
we're going to want to place it in like one fluid movement. Let's come out of center a bit. Okay, I ha I'm just trying to line it up with those little marks I made. I haven't put any pressure down yet. And I think that's about center. Checking I haven't gone over the lip at all. And there, there we go, that's about center. And then just press down. Even it in place, give it a pressure. Turning it upside down. And I think I'm just gonna leave little weight on there. Make sure it fully adheres to the case before trying it in the mount, because as we saw earlier, that does lock in quite securely. And we just don't wanna rip the case off on our first time of trying it. 